Hello everyone, it's Monday and I've just got home from work. I had a really nice day yesterday, I didn't film at my cousin's baby shower like I hoped to because she specifically said she didn't want any pictures of her or anything on social media so um, obviously I'm going to respect that and I'm not going to film anything and put it on YouTube. I did get a little clip of the cakes but it didn't really come out very well um, so I just popped a picture of the cakes on Instagram instead and left it at that because yeah obviously I'm going to respect her wishes, it's her baby shower. Um, and then I've been at work all day today, it's absolutely pouring down with rain, it's a miserable day, it just makes me want comfort food, so I'm gonna have vegetarian chilli for dinner. So I want to, I sort of made the decision that I want to make more effort with my hair and like with my clothes and stuff when I go out and when I go to work and things, but as soon as I get in, the spirit jerseys go on. <laughs> Like I said in my last vlog, I know they're not flattering and I know a lot of people don't like them, but I just love them. They're so comfy and I've got four of them now and I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them. Um, so I've got my stitch one on today and I think I'm going to make my dinner now. It's only like half four, so it's very early for dinner, but I'm trying to like make healthier choices. Um, so instead of having a load of snacks now and then having dinner anyway, I'm just going to have my dinner now and in a couple of hours if I'm genuinely still hungry then I'll have something but I just, I'm not good with food. If you love to cook and you have a favourite recipe, especially if it's vegetarian, please can you leave um, the recipe in the comments below or a link to it or something um, and I will see if I want to try any of them out. I'm not a vegetarian but I don't really like meat which is why I say especially if it's vegetarian um, but yeah leave me your favourite recipes or your favourite dishes and I'll look up the recipe. Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. I've just come out of the gym. I've been to work this morning and I had a fantastic morning at work, like so pleased. Obviously I can't go into detail because I work in a school and it wouldn't be appropriate, but um, had an absolutely fantastic morning at school and I'm honestly walking on air um, right now. And um, then I decided to start couch to 5k again this week. So I've just been to the gym and done week one, run one, hence my appearance. And it went okay. It feels good to be doing it and be in the gym. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's because I wanna try out one of the recipes that was in my friend Lisa's video last night. She made like banana pancakes and I wanna try and make that for lunch. So I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's and get some um, ingredients. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, first of all, I got this little mini pie dish because I want to be able to make myself little mini portions of things. Will and I do not eat the same food. He's on a really strict diet um, and I don't. he eats basically meat and vegetables and that's like it. And I don't really like meat so we don't eat the same food so it's handy to be able to cook just little like one person portions of stuff so I got this little dish. Um, I got these little salt and vinegar flavour rice cakes and the Dairyly Triangles to have together. It's one of my favourite snacks. Um, again not massively healthy but something I enjoy eating. Um, this is me being lazy so I got pre-packaged carrot battens <laughs> because I dip them into hummus, cherry tomatoes, Pre-packaged salad because I'm the only one that eats it and there's no point buying a load of salad stuff because it won't get eaten. Um, raspberries, strawberries and then these butternut squash and spinach, spinach croquettes. I spotted them and really wanted to try them so I'm going to have some of those for dinner tonight I think. Um, corn savoury mini, uh, mini savoury eggs which are basically like vegetarian scotch eggs. They're like my guilty pleasure. Apricot wheats. And then this is me being lazy again, so these are just to go in the freezer so that if there is a day where I really cannot be bothered to cook but I still want to eat something relatively, you know, okay. I've got some jacket potatoes and some quinoa, sweet potato and lentil burgers. Because again, 
I'm the only one that eats them. So when I buy fresh, they just go off. So it's just easier to buy frozen. And then I got some sour cream and cracked black pepper sun bites. So now I do actually have some stuff to last me the week. <laughs> Bless Will, he tries, but he just forgot everything that I eat. So um, I was going to cook the banana pancakes now, but I think I might do them tonight for pudding if I've got any calories left over. I am calorie counting at the moment. I know that can be a tr triggering topic for some people, so I'm not going to talk about it much in my videos at all. But for me to sort of get back on track with healthy eating, the best way to kickstart myself is to try and count calories a little bit, just to see how much I actually am eating and make me think, hmm, okay, I could probably cut down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I might save those for pudding tonight. And then instead, I think I'm gonna have a picky tea, picky lunch with some of the stuff I bought. So yeah. Can you see that? There's a, I think it's a red kite, correct me if I'm wrong, but there were three crows which are now on top of the house that were trying to attack it. I think it's won the fight. <laughs> oh, look at it go. It's actually much closer to me than the, oh no, one of them's coming back. Can you hear the bird? Oh, they're going to have a fight. It's all happening much closer to me than my camera's letting on. Whoa. That is a brave crow. Okay, I've been to work, I've come home, walked to the dogs, and I've made lunch. So I've got a jacket potato hiding under there, tuna and sweet corn, and a massive salad, and I cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> I've just had to put my pyjamas on and put the heating on because it is so cold in my house right now. The temperature has just plummeted the last couple of days. It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm... Archie, why are you in the bedroom? <laughs> um, I've decided to put the um, clean washing away and pop another load on because the washing in this house is never ending. Does anyone else find that? There's only two of us, but the washing is just never ending. Um, a lot of it is like Will's shirts and stuff, and they get washed separately at the end of the week, so I'm leaving those, but still it just, just seems to pile up, you know? Um, let's pop that spirit jersey in the wash, as if I don't have enough spirit jerseys. Um, yeah, I just had to pop the heating on, like I say, but thankfully the washing from yesterday um, is already dry, so I'm just going to pop all of that away and chuck this ne next load on. Um, I did loads of washing yesterday, so most of that is just Will's shirts now, so I'll pop this on. Um, what was I going to say? Let's just come and sit over here for a minute. I... Oh, God. <laughs> So this morning I've been to work, I walked the dogs, I had lunch, I've done a little bit of uni work um, and now I'm doing a few bits around the house just to keep everything ticking over. I realised when I was editing last week's vlog that if any new viewers come in and watch my weekly vlogs they will probably be horrified at the state of the upstairs of our house. So for any new viewers, um, my name is Chloe, I live with my boyfriend Will and um, we bought this house in August of last year, so we have lived here since August 2018. Um, we started off by repainting and sorting out the downstairs and the upstairs we are getting done sort of all at the same time. Um, basically last year we both had a lot of stuff going on, my mum was having treatment for breast cancer and so <laughs> Archie's come to say hi. Um, and so all of my focus was on that. Um, then my little brother got poorly um, and then I got very poorly at the beginning of this year. So um, it's only really this year um, in the last couple of months that we've started doing things upstairs in the house. So we've just recently had our bathroom redone, which you can go back and see the progress of in the last couple of vlogs. 
um, and the next plan is to get the bedroom done. So the lovely green curtains you can see behind me belonged to the previous tenant of this house. This house used to be owned by a landlord who rented it out. So lots of people have lived in this house, lots of different tastes and you can definitely see that um, in the decor when we moved in. Um, obviously we own the house now, the landlord sold it, we bought it um, and we are, like I say, slowly in the process of redoing it all and the next step is new carpeting and getting the bedroom done. So I just, it, it was literally just a thought that I had last week when I was editing the vlog that any new viewers are probably like, what is going on with their bedroom? How How can she even film up there? Honestly, I hate it, but I've just sort of started to think it's a bedroom, whatever. Do people really care that much? So, um, yeah, I've started to film up here when I'm doing bits and bobs, and I I'm sure people don't really mind, but I just wanted to explain that. And this little man is Archie, and he's not allowed upstairs, but he's always up here anyway. Yes, he is. Hello everyone, it's Thursday and I've just pulled up to the gym. Um, I've got a quick snack because I um, I'm obviously not going home for lunch, so I'm going to have a quick snack. Um, yeah, I've just pulled up to the gym. I've got my gym kit with me because I'm going to do my second run of Couch to 5k. And I've also got my swimming stuff with me because I really fancied going swimming. Um, I'm still unsure over whether I'm actually going to get in the pool because one, I'm very uncomfortable with how I look in a swimsuit. Um, which I know shouldn't stop me from doing things, but being honest, it, it kind of does. Um, two, I'm not a very strong swimmer. Um, I used to be, but now I'm not. And three, I think I'll be very tired after doing my run. So I'm not sure whether I'll make it to the pool, but I've got the intention to do it. And intention is half of the battle. Um, I'm still doing really well with healthy eating. Got my banana. Day four of um, of healthy eating, I'm doing really well actually, and I genuinely already feel better for it. I think um, I just feel like I have more energy. Um, normally, I really struggle on Wednesdays because it's the night that I tend to go to bed quite late and I get like loads done on a Tuesday. So Wednesday is normally really hard for me, but yesterday I actually felt not too bad. I still got a lot of stuff done. Um, so yeah. Doing well. I can't film when I'm in the gym. I normally do like a little montage of me like getting ready for the gym and stuff and like going in. But because I'm doing couch to 5k and I normally follow some sort of fitness plan on my phone, um, I then can't film because I use my phone to film. Um, and obviously I can't film in the pool. So I can't like show you what I'm doing because like I've said, I am conscious of the fact that I often just talk at you like I'm doing now. Um, so I'm trying to show you more of what I'm actually doing. But this week is genuinely quite boring even for me. I'm just going to work, going to the gym, doing housework working on my dissertation so there's not really a lot to show you but um yeah gonna eat this banana go to the gym do my best and i'll speak to you after <laughs> and i'm back look at the state of this hmm so attractive I'm gonna go home and have a shower and wash my hair. Had a quick shower here, but I can't wash my hair here. So I'm gonna go home, have a shower, wash my hair, have some lunch. But I did my half an hour run and um, I also did 200 meters in the pool, which is only 10 lengths. But last time I was here, I could barely even manage five lengths. I definitely found it easier this time. So I'm gonna keep coming, I think. It's a bit of a faff and it's not great to end up looking like this, but I enjoyed it, I feel good and I'm gonna definitely carry on I think. Okay, I am showered. Haven't done anything with my hair yet though. Got my comfy clothes on um, because now I'm in for the rest of the day and I've got to do uni work and had some lunch. So yes, now I need to settle down and do some uni work. Wow, my mascara has run in the shower. I also um, put a load of washing on. I like to wash my gym stuff as soon as I get home so that it's ready for the next time because I have certain gym clothes that I prefer to wear. Um, so I like to make sure they're always clean. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone and happy Friday. I have made it to the end of another week and 
I'm having pizza for lunch. I've been looking forward to this all week. Um, I am changing my diet and I'm going to the gym and stuff again, but I'm not gonna deprive myself of everything that I like. So I'm still gonna have my pizza on a Friday or a Saturday or whenever I decide to have it. Um, normally I would be having it for dinner with Will, but um, I am going to help out at a school fair tonight. It's not the school that I work at, it's the school I used to work at. Um, but my mum still works there and she's asked me to go and help out um, counting up all the money and helping in the office and stuff. And I'm going to try and get some uni work in before I have to go and help out. And it's come over really sunny and the forecast said that it's going to be beautiful and sunny for the rest of the afternoon. So I might even put one of my new dresses on. Who knows? <laughs> Also, I set myself up with a new Instagram account this morning. I know, as if I don't have enough Instagram accounts. I actually have about eight now, um, but most of them are disabled um, and I don't use them anymore. But I've set myself up with a Disney account because I post a lot of Disney content to my personal Instagram um, and I feel like I'm spamming everyone with it and that people don't really wanna see it. So, I've decided to set up a Disney account. It's called Disney with Chloe. I'll put it on the screen here. I've already got like nearly a hundred followers or something at the time that I'm filming this and I only set it up this morning. So that's cool. Um, and I'm gonna have all things Disney on there. So if you fancy following along, it's Disney with Chloe. Hello everyone, it's Monday lunchtime. I decided to squish two vlogs together again like I do occasionally um, because I was editing the footage from last week and it was so boring. Sorry you can hear Winnie pottering about in the background. Um, so yeah, I was editing the footage and it was so boring. Um, and I knew that last week was going to be boring and I almost didn't vlog at all but I was like no no I'll do it and then I kind of wished that I hadn't because it was so boring. Um, somebody actually messaged me the other day and it was quite relevant so I thought I would mention it but they mentioned that they appreciated that I had set up quite healthy boundaries with how much I share of my relationship so I put a picture up of Will on Instagram stories and she um, complimented him saying that he was a very good looking boy and um, she said, you know, I can only comment on him surface level because of the healthy boundaries you've put up with how much you share. And I think that's true. I share a lot with you about me personally. I'm quite happy to share stuff with you about me, but I keep my relationship really quite private. There'll be the occasional photo on Instagram, but other than that, I don't really mention Will in the vlogs or show him very often because he doesn't really like being on camera. So. That was kind of relevant for last week because I spent a lot of time, especially at the weekend, with family and friends who did not want to be on camera, so I don't film I just them. I popped you in the cupboard so I can stop holding the phone because it was making my arm ache. Um, but yeah, so it means that sometimes the vlogs are not particularly interesting for you, even though I've had a really busy week. So I decided to just put the footage together, edit the footage down from last week a little bit so that it's not as long um, and hopefully not as boring and then um, vlog this week. Although again, I've got a very busy week so I don't know how well it's gonna go. I've just popped the microwave on because I'm having a jacket potato for lunch but I just thought I would quickly tell you about the weekend because I didn't really show it to you. So on Saturday, Will and I went shopping in the morning in town and he got himself some summer bits and bobs and um, then we went to Nando's, which is like our go-to at the moment because his diet is really quite strict and he can get a decent meal at, at Nando's that fits in with his diet plan. So we go to Nando's a lot whenever we wanna eat out at the moment. Um, and then on Saturday night, my mum and I went to see Matilda at the Mayflower in Southampton. And I thought it was really good. I'd heard some bad reviews before we went, but we both really enjoyed it. So that was great. And then um, we went, on Sunday, we went over to see my dad and then we went over to see Will's dad because it was Father's Day. So again, none of it was just really appropriate to film. So I'm sorry that last week's vlog was rubbish and that this week's vlog won't be that great either, but that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs>
So there we go. There's my lunch. Pretty boring, but pretty healthy. Um, I even added some baby avocado in there because Will used one this morning and the other one was really ripe, so I could only use a little bit, but I'm not actually even that much of a fan of avocado, so it's fine. But I'm gonna go and eat this now and then get on with the rest of my afternoon. Right, I have eaten my lunch. The kitchen is cleaned. I've put all of the cloths and like dishcloths and tea towels and whatever in the washing machine on a fast wash just so that they are all clean. And now I'm gonna take the little doggies on a walk. Would you like to go on a walk? <laughs> um, dogs are walked. I now need to decide what I'm doing with the rest of the afternoon. The original plan was that I was meant to be going to the library all afternoon after I had walked the dogs um, to do some uni work because I need to send some work to my supervisor by Wednesday. Um, either that or I was going to go and sit in the Costa that's near the gym. So go to Costa and do some work um, and then go to the gym afterwards because I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the gym tomorrow because tomorrow I have to go to Winchester University which is where I'm completing my master's degree. Um, spend the afternoon in the library there and then I'm meeting friends for dinner in Winchester. So I normally would go to the gym on a Tuesday but I think I need to try and fit my workout in tonight but I am so tired right now. I'm hoping that once my lunch kicks in in a little bit um, I might wake up a bit and I, I need to do some work um, but I'm so tired right now the thought of going out to do work is just not appealing. I think somebody's a bit tired after his walk. You're tired. Tired boy. <laughs> People tell me that dogs can't show love but I think they definitely can. Right, the hair has gone up. The sports bra is on. I have decided that I am going to go out um, because I tried to sit down and do some work in here and I just couldn't concentrate. I just get far too distracted when I'm at home. But now I can't decide where to go. I think if I go to Costa I'm probably going to get distracted as well. But if I go to the library in town then I've got to pay for parking so I may as well have just gone to Costa and bought a drink because it's going to cost the same amount of money and the Costa is right next to um, the gym. But I've got my gym stuff, I've got a bag full of a load of books and my laptop so that I can do something but I don't know what. <laughs> Um, I'm just sitting down to do my injection and I wanted to chat to you quickly although I've just realized that I don't have my little cold compress so I better go get um, that. So yeah don't worry I'm not gonna film it or anything but I just thought I would quickly have a chat to you whilst I get everything ready and um, everything. It helps to keep my mind off doing the injection as well because no matter how many times I do it I still hate it. I've been doing it since the middle of March now and it's now the middle of June so March, April, May, June. I'm reaching my three month mark now and I still hate it just as much so but yeah I have not filmed over the last couple of days um, because it has been all systems go with my dissertation and I have started the writing process finally um, and I sent off a thousand words to my supervisor yesterday for her to have a look at and we're going to have a meeting over Skype tomorrow to um, go over it. Um, so yeah, it has literally been just me sitting in the library, doing work, poring over books, stressing about writing. Um, on Tuesday, I spent the afternoon in, while I went to the gym. No, I went to the gym on Monday, actually, this week. Tuesday, I couldn't go to the gym because I spent the afternoon in the library and um, then met some of my old school friends um, in my university town for dinner which was so nice. I haven't seen 
one of them in a really long time apart from a funeral of a mutual friend that we both attended recently and we agreed that we should meet up under happier circumstances and sort of rekindle our friendship so that's what we did and that was really nice and um then yesterday i again spent my whole afternoon working on the dissertation so fun but anyway i need to do this i'll see you in a minute <laughs> And it's about 10 seconds later and I'm done. So, random, but there might be some of you who use these injections. Do any of you find that one leg hurts a lot less than the other? My right leg hurts a lot less than my left leg. Hello everyone, it's Friday and it is 20 to 2 in the afternoon. I have been to work this morning and I've just had a Skype call with my dissertation supervisor at university. Every month I send, I need to send her a little bit of work and then we meet and she gives me feedback on it. Um, so she just gave me some feedback on my work and it really wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, she thinks that I'm going in the right direction with it, so that's great. Um, so I feel quite positive now about that. Um, I felt a little bit under the weather all week. I think I mentioned yesterday that I had a really bad like stress migraine. And yeah, generally I'm just feeling quite under the weather this week. So I'm not like in the best mood, but I feel a bit happier now that I've had that meeting. Um, and she seems happy with what I've done so far. Just need to make some tweaks to it. And I, she's given me some great ideas about how to go about framing the whole like rest of the chapter that I'm writing at the moment. So that's really good. Um, and I really wanted to see my mum today because I haven't seen her all week. But unfortunately she's busy this afternoon. So I'm just here chilling at home. I'm thinking I might try and do a little bit of work now that I'm feeling motivated. Okay, so I've just had a tiny little bowl of cereal for my lunch. And that's just not going to cut it. And I really want like a sandwich or a wrap or something. So I've decided to go to Sainsbury's and I'm going to get myself something nice as a little Friday treat. Normally Will and I would have pizza on a Friday or something like bad um although i've said before i don't really believe in the idea of like good foods and bad foods i think you should have everything in moderation um and that is a balanced diet and a healthy diet everything in moderation um so normally i would be eating like a big pizza or something for dinner tonight but we're not doing that tonight we're having sausage bacon and eggs because that's what we really fancied so i just had a look on my fitness pal and actually i have a lot of calories left over today in my allowance that i would like to eat so i'm gonna go get a treat <laughs> Okay, the plan's changed again. I am gonna see my mum now. Um, she's got to take my brother out somewhere and she's kind of like passing by my house to get there. So she is gonna come and pick me up on the way and I'm gonna go for the drive. Sorry, I got distracted then because my friend messaged me and I spotted it and was like reading it as I was talking. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's gonna come and get me. So I'm gonna quickly eat my lunch that I got. Um, I got a mozzarella, tomato and basil pesto wrap because that was what I really fancied. And I also got something really naughty, which is sensations, which are really not good for you, but they're delicious. I also got some peonies. I love peonies and normally I get them over and over and over again every year, but these are my first peonies um, that I've got this year and probably the last because they're pricey and I'm meant to be saving money. Um, but they are so beautiful when they open out and to be honest I love them even when they're just sort of still all furled up like this so hopefully they'll open up I haven't cut them properly because I just want to quickly eat these and then get going with my mum so I'll probably arrange them later